Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jody, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you our Costco grocery haul, including prices, as well as our final receipt. I will also be sharing our full monthly meal plan for our family of four, so let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, here's everything that we got. Okay, so starting over here, I got this big 10 pound thing of, these are old fashioned oats. Um, this ended up being like a dollar a pound for, or slightly over a dollar a pound for the oats, which is a little bit cheaper than our Sprouts bulk section. And I hadn't seen that at Costco before, so I thought I would try that. And then some more of our favorite salsa, peanut butter, and jelly. And these we pretty much buy every single month. And then we've got our big thing of vanilla soy milk. This was actually the last one. I wanted to grab two of them just because we've been going through them, but it was the last sad beat up one they had. And then we're just running low on some cinnamon. And then we got a lot of bread here. Got two of these Dave's Killer Bread. And then two of these for, we use these for French toast. And then this is something we have not bought before, but these are the hot dog buns. Um, and just because of the 4th of July, we're gonna be doing something with those. And then these hamburger buns to go with our um, black bean burgers. And then these are for my husband. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be doing something for the 4th, so we just got a bunch of hot dogs and the buns for that. And then we've got our pack of organic tofu and then some vegetable stir fry we were out of as well as the triple berry blend. And then I got these, um, not the box of eggs this time, these, um, so this is four dozen together, these two. Um, and that is just because we normally keep this container and then when the box is down to two dozen, we can take that out of our fridge. Um, it just really bothers me to have that giant box in there. However, somebody got rid of these containers, so I just wanted to buy these, basically to have these containers, and then I will buy the box next month. And then, of course, we have our favorite uncooked flour tortillas here. And then for produce, I did end up getting just this big bag of carrots and then two bunches of bananas. Um, does anyone else have this problem with buying bananas at Costco? It's like, they just always look terrible. Most of them usually are always like super green and we like yellow bananas. So it's always really frustrating, but I did get two of those. And then lastly, I got this big thing of strawberries. Um, we like to only go to one store a week. So I normally wouldn't buy that much produce at Costco, but I just wanted to get some other fruit for us this week. And then the last thing that I got, um, which is not a food item, is this um, picnic blanket, this packable blanket. Um, that was just on sale, so I grabbed that. And I don't count that in our grocery budget. We have another budget for just like household items. So I will take that off my receipt, but let me go ahead and show you my receipt. Okay, so here's my receipt for all of our groceries for Costco for the month of July. And my total with that blanket um, was 181. So that blanket was on sale for 19.99. So I just took that off and the total then is 161.38 for the groceries. Okay, so really quickly, I just wanted to do a comparison between my June and July Costco hauls. So this is my receipt for my video for my June Costco haul, and I just wanted to see if anything had gone up in price from June to July. So here's my receipt from this haul, and I highlighted the three items that went up in price. Our vanilla soy milk went up $2 from $14.99 to $16.99, and then the day's killer bread went up from $8.49 to $9.59. And looking at that price, it's insanity. I really like that bread because it's pretty healthy for a store-bought bread, but at almost $5 a loaf, I honestly think we're gonna have to stop buying that bread because it's just crazy. I mean, if you look at this other two-pack, it's $4.49. It's literally less than half the price. So 
Anyways, the last thing was our burger buns and that went up just 10 cents from 2.59 to 2.69. Okay, so I'm gonna be sharing our full monthly meal plan with you guys. So I just used this little printable thing that I found on Google just to make it look nice. But I definitely use a little scratch piece of paper beforehand where I'm scribbling all the things that I need, all the ingredients that I have already, and what recipes I'm gonna be making. And then I take it all and make it look nice and put it on my fridge. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna be taking all of my scribbles and transferring them onto that nice monthly meal plan and showing you guys everything that we are going to be making this month. In the past, I've done once a month grocery shopping, and even though I've stopped doing that just because I like having some produce around most of the time, I still always plan the entire month of meals at once. And I think this really helps with sticking to a low budget because I can go to Costco at the beginning of the month and get all of their cheapest price items in the quantity that I need for the entire month and not have to make another trip there. For example, I can get my four things of tofu that I need for my one tofu stir fry that I have every single week. I also think planning a week of meals and repeating them or planning similar meals is super helpful because I can buy more things in bulk and I don't end up wasting as many ingredients. Even when I'm trying a new recipe like the corn chowder I'm gonna be trying this month, I make it at least twice. In that way, I don't end up buying a bunch of ingredients, even things like sauces and spices that I'll never use again. And although it may seem boring or repetitive, that way I end up saving money and next month I can always try a whole new set of recipes if I want. Okay, so here is everything that we are gonna be making this month. Okay, so when you're thinking of planning meals for the month, it can be really daunting, but the way that I keep it really simple is by just trying to keep, basically plan one week and then keep everything relatively the same every week. And then you can just easily plan how much you need of everything in order to get your groceries. Okay, so starting with breakfast, um, every Friday we just have eggs and toast, um, and then Saturday smoothies, and Sunday just plain oatmeal. And then at the beginning of the week, I do try to make something ahead of time for breakfast. So here I've got granola bars, and that'll make enough for a few days for us. And then baked oatmeal, breakfast cookies, and granola bars again. And then also some granola. I made that at the beginning of the month and we will just have that in our pantry. So for lunches, I also wanna keep it super simple. I am at home with my kids, so I don't wanna feel like I'm cooking all day long. So I just do the same thing, PB&J and fruit, peanut, peanut butter banana roll-ups, um, sweet potatoes and veggies, quesadillas, and then we do leftovers, and that's usually leftovers of dinner. And then PB&J with rice cakes and quesadillas again on Sundays. My kids love quesadillas and they love peanut butter and jelly, <laughs> if you didn't notice. So I follow the starch solution, which is a high carb, low fat vegan diet. So I actually don't eat the same thing as my kids for lunch. I'm usually eating rice and veggies or potatoes and veggies something like that that I already have made up. So I'll just make a big batch of rice at the beginning of the week, beans, and then I have potatoes that I can just microwave and I've got frozen veggies and fresh veggies and I just whip something together for myself. And then dinners, same thing. I try to keep it pretty similar. You'll see some things mixed around just based on when we are super busy. So we've got our veggie burgers from Costco with just fries and potatoes. Um, our banana pancakes, which I've shared that recipe several times before on this channel. Um, just super easy ramen and veggies. And then this is the 4th of July, we were bringing hot dogs to a family event. Tofu stir fry, burritos, um, a mushroom stroganoff, and I just make a note to myself there that I am doubling the recipe and freezing it so I can have an easy dinner this week. And then it repeats itself, and I've got a few other meals in here. Corn chowder and rice, which I also doubled the recipe and froze. And then I'm also making some healthy nachos, French toast, and tomato soup with grilled cheese and bread for me. So that is everything that we are making this month. 
If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so and hit the little notification bell down below so that you don't miss my next video, which is going to be sharing with you some healthy dessert recipes for summer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.